Yes. All right, the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Public participation, non-agenda items. Do you, do you have anything? Vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Uh, to the point. <laughs> Where's that little flag? So I have a couple of things, actually, if I can sit here and tell you. So um, um, the first one is that we had uh, our American Legion toll booth at the transfer station on Saturday, and they wanted to thank you all for allowing us to go there as the American Legion Auxiliary. Um, and we raised $30 short of $1,000. Wow. And then I went over to um, see the Holpies at their trailer there, and Mrs. Holpie, uh, Sherry, asked me how much we were short of our $1,000 go, and I told her $30, and she gave me $30. So, because she hadn't been able to get to the dump. So, the American Legion Auxiliary raised $1,000 at the um, transfer station, and I completely want to give a shout out to Judy Batchelor and Sherry Holpie, who gave huge, and to everybody else who um, came along to the transfer station and helped us out. Um, and um, we're looking to do another one next month again. We're we're looking to do one month throughout the summer. So I'll have to get back to you on the date after our next meeting. If that's okay. Uh, second thing, you're late. Thank you. You missed half my presentation. <laughs> Go right here, watch it on the video. <laughs> second thing is that we um, we held a fundraiser over at the Milton Moose Club with Texas Pete. Jerry Druin and Brian and Chris and, and uh, Dennis did a fantastic job. And uh, our Charlene and Mark from Smoke and Lamps Barbecue came with their whole big clan of people, a lot of Lebanon people, and it was so well attended. Um, we were able to raise $1,630 in two hours cash. So each food pantry, Milton and Lebanon, got $815. Oops. And um, we also had so much food. I We had so much food we couldn't fit it all on the table. It was overflowing. And um, everybody there donated 100%. Nobody got paid back for what they had put into it. We all donated 100% of everything to the food pantries. So there are so many people to think I won't do it here. I've done it publicly and I've, I've done it privately, but um, a huge, huge shout out to all the people in Lebanon and Milton and, and Rochester, some Rochester folks who came along and, and danced with us and played with us. Uh, Karina was there and we had a blast and, and Jeff came over and, uh, and we had a good time. and. Uh, and Jeff actually wound up sponsoring a golf hole for the Vouchers for Veterans golf tournament. So a lot of good came out of that um, event, and we're just we're just really thrilled to have been a part of it. Um, the next thing is that on the 23rd, we have a blood drive for the fire and EMS. But once again, we're holding it at David Salvatore's, which is 1204 Carl Brogy Highway. And we have really something cool because we're one of the very first blood drives in Maine that are going to be um, offering the COVID antibody testing to anybody that comes and gives blood. So if you come and give blood, when they take your blood back, they do that COVID antibody testing and they email you and tell you whether or not you have the COVID antibodies in your system, which um, for several reasons, number one, they want so to identify who has it because you, you know, once they know if you have that COVID antibody, um, in your blood, that can be used to help people who are very, very sick with uh, COVID-19. And um, and it's, it's one of the best proven remedies for it so far is giving them platelets from somebody that has the antibodies. So we're very proud to be uh, one of the first. And uh, I thank you so much to David Salvatore and Fire and EMS who sponsors our blood drives every time. And um, just we're going to have a great time. And I'm doing a bagged lunch that day, so everybody that comes will get sandwich and a fruit cup and you know so promote that to all your people if you give blood come give blood on the 23rd at Salvatore's because uh, that's where it's happening um, the next thing uh, I want to say is I want to remind people to come to public hearing on the 20th which I know that you'll probably revisit later um, but it, it's so important and I've been talking to people all over town about public hearing and they don't really understand what's going to happen at public hearing. They think that they can vote there. So, and I keep, yeah, I know Laura, but 
They I'm do. Just looking and then, well, <laughs> don't. But, you know, don't you were. Go there. But anyway, I, I just really want to reiterate to people come to public hearing because you hear other people's views on the referendums that are being. Um, submitted on the ballot and it helps you form your own opinion just to be able to hear other people's views. You hear why the selectmen voted for something, you hear why your budget committee voted or didn't vote for something and, and it helps you to create your own opinion and there's a lot of referendum articles in, that are important on this ballot and so I really want people who are watching to pass it along, tell all your friends to come. And um, Any questions on the comprehensive plan, you can have me answer that. There's your girl, if you have any comprehensive plan questions. And I wanted to know if we uh, could have some copies of the comprehensive plan also ready for mm -hmm. that public yeah, hearing. copies of all the ordinances. And Thank we you. don't have a lot of that, though, because uh, it's, it's so big. some odd pages. Yeah, yeah, so if people are considerate, if they look it over during that public hearing, and then if they don't need to take it home, if they give it to somebody else who might want to take it home. Print it off at home. Because it. it's still on the town website, right? It is. So people can access it electronically yep. too. Print it's it. under the Comprehensive Plan Department. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So that's that. Um, but, but in reality, my discussion was more about like the whole, uh, the whole entire um, system of um, of the public hearing, and I, I just really hope that uh, I'm going to just tell people to go to that they can call here. I guess if they have. Any more questions than what I'm answering? I ask, what happened? Just ask for Lynn. I just yeah. send them all your way, Lynn. <laughs> Option five. <laughs> Option five. Now I know that you'll never get rid of them. But uh, okay, so then there's that, and then uh, I also want to thank you guys for making the town office available for Meet the Candidate tonight. Um, I have heard from three out of the four candidates for selectmen. Um, I, I'm still reaching out for Betty Harris Howard, so I don't know if maybe she'll answer for you and not for me because sometimes people do that but um, if you would let her know Lynn, sure. that it's the 30th and it's at 6 p.m. and I want to give a shout out to Eddie B and uh, Eddie B Towing and Recovery and Southern Maine Tool and Equipment Rental because they're going to provide me with some light lighting in case it goes a little bit over so that we can put up some lights and people park up at the Hanson School and they want to take that path that path's going to be lit and uh, and we don't have to worry about everybody bringing flashlights. So uh, two big helps and Miner's Diner is going to bring us some iced tea and uh, a few little uh, refreshments uh, to have available there for people if they want to snack or whatever because it's in the evening. So we have that and that's good. Um, and then I guess finally the thing that I want to say to everybody is uh, to me, it doesn't matter who you vote for. I just hope people get out and vote. I've been hearing a lot of people are uh, promoting, uh, paying attention and voting this time around, and uh, and uh, and I'm glad for that. I'm glad to hear it, and and I just hope people will get out and vote. And the, the confusion seems to be like they don't know when. So it's July 14th, and you can go to the polls from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. and cast your ballot there. You can register to vote at the polls this year again, correct, Lynn? Yes. Yes. So you can, you can, everything, bring your ID, go to the polls, register to vote, get in line, cast your ballot, and uh, and that mm -hmm. is how you vote. Because I keep it, yeah, people keep asking, how do you even vote in Lebanon? You can, That's come, how. you can do early voting too. You can come in and get your absentee ballot. Yes. So I don't promote that. You guys can promote that. I don't promote absentee. I promote showing up and being part of your community. Well, if they if, you know, if still show like up, concerned promote. about their safety yeah, or yeah. getting close to people. That's yeah. the way to vote. What she said, and uh, so if you want to. We do have a lot of people that have asked for How do you, I don't even know, do you call Mary Beth? For your ballot, oh, or, yeah, 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 girls. Yeah. or you can go online and and through the state of Maine, you could do it, and they contact us, and you get your electronic pound ballot through that as well. It's yeah. an electronic absentee ballot request. They always have that. I, I didn't know. They're from Maine. <laughs> I learned something tonight, so this meeting was a plus. But uh, yeah, there you go. So online, uh, call Mary Beth, call Lynn. It, Extension five, we will hook you up, and uh, <laughs> and, uh, and that's uh, I think that's the end. I think that's the end. We have a lot of stuff coming up, and um, and uh, I'm very very proud of um, of people in the community that uh, 
that have helped others recently uh, find it, look out there beating the bushes, finding dogs uh, with Mary and uh, Mary. Mary's mm -hmm. just been on top of that. And we brought a little guy home that was lost for like almost mm -hmm. two weeks uh, right here on the Upper Guinea Road, a little dog. So, yeah. What was his name? His name was Brody. That was his name. You didn't think I knew that, did you? Nope. <laughs> I was right on top of it, though. But, uh, okay, thank you very much. Minutes. <laughs> a review of minutes. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> okay, I make a motion. We accept the minutes of Thursday, June 11th, as written. Second. All in favor. That wasn't it, Jim? Yeah. Oh, Sorry. I think they wanted to say mine did, because I think it's because Jen sent us something. Yeah. All right. I'll put it there. Yep. Who am I giving it to? Keep it rolling. Yeah. Keep it rolling. Oh, excuse me. Can I just ask you one more question? To I have like a whole bunch of masks. So we delivered still over 1,540 now in town masks that we delivered. And I still have a whole bunch. I'd like to know, can I bring them in a basket? Um, they were all sanitized in their baggies. I can bring them in a basket for public hearing yeah. in case people don't have one and they want to wear one. Um, they'll be available here for them. Would that work? Okay, thank you. All right, we have appointments um, um, for animal control officer. We have Mary and the assistant, Carol. Okay, good with that. <laughs> Um, we have Stacy for FOAA officer, um, Lynn for the general assistant administrator, Marcy Paletta for the librarian, Georgie Allen for the rec director, um, Mary Beth Pudin for town clerk, Mary Beth for the excise tax collector, Stacy for the treasurer. David for the code enforcement officer and plumbing expect in inspector. I think that's it. Let's see anymore. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Let's see, on the second list we have there is she needs names to go with the position. Yes, yes, we do. Huh. Yeah. So we gotta, I guess, figure that out. Okay. Yeah, that runs out in August. Okay, yeah. What positions are available? EMA Director, Health Officer, E911, E911, Municipal Coordinator, Addressing Officer, Building Inspector, Appeals Board. I don't know if this goes with that. Conservation Commission and Planning Board. So, I don't know if we want to advertise for these ones down here or um, the EMA director is usually the fire chief, right? That's what has been comes last, last two health weeks. officer has, um, been the fire chief. has been tax collector. That doesn't run out until August. Um, E911 has been the code officer with helpers. <laughs> Building inspector has been the code officer. So, I don't know. What do you want to do, or we got to talk about it, or? Well, for appeals, conservation, and planning board, we could put that on the website, right? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Who's up in the appeals board? Uh, Whose position? Well, I think it says three, three year available. It says three, but I'm not sure if that's. That's got to be Mary Beth did this, right? Yeah, because yeah. I know mine's not until next year, according to Mary Beth. I hope so. <laughs> From the Conservation Committee? No. no appeals. Appeals. Yeah. Three three year terms is what it says. Cons Who's up on the planning board? Uh, it says three three year available and one. Andy and um, Betty. Who? Andy and Betty are up for planning board and. So it says three, three years, is that correct? And one, one year, which would be the alternate, I assume. Right. Yeah, because I'm the alternate, but I should be moving into. Uh, well, yeah, the alternate would be 
is one year. Okay. Yeah. So that. Okay. Well, it says one. Ask her who's up for appeal. Yeah. No. I rolled my eyes. Strike me down. <laughs> okay. So you don't think these are right? No. Okay. Well. There's nobody. I talked to the Jackie the other day. I think we should wait oh, on the talking any more about the appeals board and the planning board. Okay, so we good with these ones that yeah, we yeah. already, okay, yeah. so we'll That's just right. pass them around. And Lynn, you'll write all this down. Oh, what's today? The 16th. in a different spot. Excuse me. So the appeals board, uh, she had Bernie and Roger, Bar Bernie LeBrecht and Roger Barney terms expiring, but they they resigned and we reappointed them, but I don't know how their appointments ran. Well, we're going to wait to talk about yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. So that's, yeah. And Don uh, Lukes was the other one. Did she open yet? Was it this one? It's supposed to be this one, I don't know if she did. I'm not sure she did. She could get a lot of stuff this week. So. Yeah, well, I know she's got a. These are the ones that were there, I guess. Those the one. Was there one else? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that enough? Just a little stack for y'all. Okay, so this is. Oh, yes. Did everyone read the letter? The letter that we wrote? Did anyone write that? Read it? Was, you know, the town report. Oh, the town report. The, the one I that we wrote. Yeah, yeah. Yes. From the office of the selectmen. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. I read it then. Okay. So, is this okay to put in? We just have it, to sign it. Yeah. Right. Just sign it. Lynn said just to sign it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> many kudos to the hands behind the scenes on that. Yes, many kudos. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> Jim did all the hard stuff. He did. Thank goodness. Hey, Dana. Oh, hi, Dana. Hey. Good to see you. Oh, Mr. Hi. How are you? Good. Been okay. <laughs> Good to see you. Been a long time. Your son sent me a nice message. Yes. Okay, so this is a cell phone stipend for the code enforcement officer, yeah. and we have to sign it? Yes. Do we all approve yeah. for that? To let him have a stipend? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's not a stipend, that's okay. It's his business. Okay. Well, there's only enough for three people. That must not have any feet. Oh, you're not going to have any feet. I'm going to cry. I'm going to sign it off the line. This is postage 
Yes, for the ballots, there's yes. been a lot of, oh. they have a lot of yes. absentee ballots. So we need that will come out of the election budget. Yes. And they may or may not need it. I'm That's sure they will. Because theirs is probably just like everybody else's. Ridiculous. Yeah. We've done almost 900 in Elliot. Yeah, they've, they've got a lot this year. Yeah. And they weren't really anticipating as many as they have, but people don't want to go in crowds. Yeah. I'm glad they're voting. Yes. And the national yeah, news has been recommending yeah. that, so I think mm -hmm. we'll get some of the people like that. Probably get a bigger turnout this year than in the past. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then we have some time requests. Got several, I guess. Um, I'm going to check the calendar. There's one that you might have questions on. No, those are questions. Those are good to go. This one writes a whole story. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> and we always do all the research, so you can do. I'm just saying, you always look through everything. And this is just for the BYOB. Yeah, I did this from already, so they're all set. Yeah. Okay. This is just for the for the BYOB. Part. It's not the other part. Okay. No. This is for their license. And they have a good idea, on it. They have what? You have the diary right now. Mm -hmm. So we just need to sign it or okay it? Or? Yeah, that we need to do. Okay, do we want to okay the BYOB permit? They got to get it approved by the state anyways, right? right. Well, that's just for the... This yeah, is just for the, the... Right, for the BYOB, so they got to get it approved by the state, so it doesn't... Yeah. Right. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't affect the mass gathering. Okay. So okay. The mass gathering. All right, so does someone want to make a motion to okay this part? I will. I'll make a motion will be okay to accept the sign the... BYOB permit application for the proving grounds. I'll second it. Okay, all in favor? I'm just filling in this part. Municipal offices. I told him to be out in the Okay, I think that's all. The AP warrant we don't have, obviously, because not signed. Yeah. Okay, not signed. We have no agenda items? No. Old business. I don't have my paper. Okay. Um, LED light project. Yep. Emergency shelter, Jeff. Parking for the snowmobile club. We did get together with the snowmobile, three of the five uh, officers on mm -hmm. Monday, uh, Tuesday. And um, still is a formula is still being formulated the plan so we're still working on we are working on but we've made some progress okay so we've had our initial meeting appeals board training that has been delayed <laughs> delayed <laughs> um recycling jeff and chuck waiting for the new budget and to hear about the grant all right commercial haulers is that still on the back burner yeah Purchasing policy, did you get anywhere with that, Paul? I reviewed it. Um, if you were just waiting on me, and I'm good with it. The only thing that worries me was the, the requiring of three quotes when they can't get them if they come to us. If there can't be three quotes, say there's only one or two companies that do it, mm -hmm. that maybe that line should be in there as long as it's approved. Okay. select them because it says required, right, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. And I remember there's certain things that they just can't get three votes on. Yeah. So to see the board. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, any anything else on that? No? Individual selectmen issues. Karina. Are we gonna talk about um getting a Committee together for to hire a fire chief? Probably. I was thinking that was probably going to be Next later. Executive session. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't <laughs> yeah. even know for sure how we do it, but. Well, I, I, I think it's something that could be out in the open now. People know that, you know. Um, yes, they do. That we are in need of a chief. <laughs> so, um, how we're going to go about it? I, I think we're going to talk about it in the executive session. Okay, so as long as we don't. Um, and then once we get an executive Move session, over. I'll say we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still talk about it. No, because it needs something that needs to be um, moved on. Okay. Anything else? Um, not at the moment. Do you have anything, Chuck? Um, no. Um, you can go last, Paul, because <laughs> you'll pick up everything I forget. So sure, anything good. that I forgot, Paul. Uh, yeah, that's it. Right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to acknowledge that um, Nancy Wyman passed away last week. Um, I didn't know that. 
Nancy um, was an active member in our community and cared deeply about Lebanon, its people, and where it is headed. She wished for others and new residents to take an active role in issues that concern us. Nancy had served on the Planning Board, Historical Society, Budget Committee, Selectman Secretary, Southern Maine Garden Club, Business and Professional Women's Group, Local Book Clubs, and she was Lebanon's first woman selectman. <laughs> um, yeah, she, I mean, she was like an energizer bunny. Yeah, I mean, she, she just, yeah. yeah. Um, she will be missed by the community. and We just want to wish her condolences to her family, so. Um, also, every did everyone get their newsletter in the mail? I did not, but that's okay. I, didn't get I, didn't, I did not. I ran to town and didn't get them yet. Mine came in. Mine. Oh, oh, there is Monday. Yeah, I didn't get mine. They do it by level of importance. <laughs> I, I guess that. I figured that, so I'm like, oh, well, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, so um, those went out. It has all the referendums on them. It tells you about the hearing. It tells you, you know, about voting. And... Um, the hearing is Saturday at the town office. Bring your own chair. And yeah, right here, park at the school, walk down here, bring your chair, spread out, wear your mask if you want to. And um, all referendums are important. The next day is right. right, all referendums are important. Then it will be yeah. Sunday. So there is, yeah, it's probably important to mention that rain date is for Sunday. Yeah, at one. Sunday at one. Right. Yeah. So hopefully that won't happen, but you never know. Um, absentee ballots, um, you can request one by calling. You can um, do it electronically on main.gov. Um, you can always do that for all, um, as long as the states have an election or the federal, you can do it. Obviously it was just us, we couldn't do that. But um, I believe there's an uh, application on the website that you can print, call the girls. Yep. Yeah. So. Um, if you don't feel Come comfortable in. coming to the polls, you can vote by absentee. Laura, will this include also the school budget yeah. vote, or is that later? No, nope. school's school there. School budget vote is on. Yep. Thank you. Yep, it's going to be a big one. You might want to do it at home. It's going to be a big one. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's it for that. Um, I think that's all I had. Paul. I already did one of them tonight. That's good. Um, Two of them. Did you find them? Oh, and you had the Lieutenant Ross. I'm still waiting to hear back from him. I kind of left him a message yesterday, which was kind of late. But. Okay. Um, Freon? Okay. The Freon. Freon. Did it's you? all set. Yeah. yeah. Have they come already? Or? No, they, they were, from when I called them, they said it could take up to 10 days because they put them on the schedule immediately. It's just the way he flowed. Robert was very happy. Okay, just checking to see how we're doing on that. Yeah. Um, Joe up. I already talked about candidates tonight. That's taken care of. Uh, I need to request permission from the board to contact Legal in Sanford, uh, Brook and Clay. Uh, we've sold four lots in the cemetery, and I don't have any way of making out a deed now because the deeds were being made out by the association. And since the association doesn't own it, I can't very well make a deed out because I'm selling town property. <laughs> I'm a little uncomfortable with that one. <laughs> so they handled the transfer, and, I, and we have money already there. To, Cover the costs. So. Yeah. Oh well, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, it going to cost more than the plot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. Could we borrow some of that money? <laughs> okay. But anyways, with everybody's permission, I'll have that. Yep. You got we sold five lots so far. Good night, Jen. Good night. Good night, Jen. Bye, Jen. Bye, Jen. See you Monday. All right. On that note, almost a public announcement. Make sure that uh, anybody's interested in serving on the cemetery okay. committee or trustee to. Contact uh, Lynn. Lynn and get your name on the list. On the list. There's three of us on the list. There's three of us on the list. Is Paul one of them? No. And I'm not sure everybody read their emails, but the uh, the action for reconsideration of the appeals finding did go through. Uh, that is being scheduled at a, a day. No. The 20th. 20th now? Okay. 
Then lastly, it's Saturday. Um, we don't have a speaker. It's going to be Chuck or Jeff. Oh, okay. Trying to come in, you know. Okay. Start at the top. Is the microphone available to you already? It's all here. Okay. Um, blocking the entrances, so nobody come into the parking lot. Do we have areas for that? Listen, Paul, you want it all. <laughs> Can we get some of the things that we use at the school for voting with those? Know, Must be something in the bathroom we could use. <laughs> <laughs> I know the fire department can down one of the saw houses type thing. Yeah, perfect. We can Maybe stick, we can stick, stick Deborah, <laughs> give her a couple flags, and put her in a fluorescent vest. Mm -hmm. And which way are we going to do this on Saturday so we know how to set it up? Where are we going to put. Oh. I would think if we put it here, looking down, well, at least we're close to the uh, electricity. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Well, or, my fear is that with this distancing, they'll be too far that way, that if we put it in the front. Okay, well, whatever, I don't care. If we put, you know, we set up for that on the meeting facing that way. Yeah. If we just go straight off of there, it'll give us even space this way, and they won't be, everyone will be the same distance pretty much. That's kind of what I was Toying that idea because yeah. you, you did set up there before and it worked pretty well. Yeah, so you set up there yeah. facing out. Then we'll be on the back side of the fence. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. if people, if we have need this more room, they could even be in the grass and it would be down on the corner. So, yeah. Okay. Write that down, Paul. <laughs> Are you using a sound system for that as well? Yes. Okay. It's going to be Facebook Live. It sure will be. I know. <laughs> Did you make up any extra uh, copies of the hand of the, the mailer? Yes. You made the newsletter, didn't you? Mm -hmm. For us, though, I think we should have the bigger, the okay. warrant size, especially for the person reading. I you know. anybody comes without them, they might want one. Yeah. Yes. As a weapon. I like a good that's it. I thought. Okay, we have. You're all done. Yep. We have another appointment paper for the appeals board for Deborah Dory Wilson. I thought you didn't run out. You said. They told me I didn't, but then they had a whole bunch of names that did who have all resigned long since. And when she went back and did an updated one, she said mine expires June of 2020. So I'm actually already expired, so we need to get that signed quickly. <laughs> still June. It's still June. True. Okay, so this is for Deborah. Especially for appeals board and planning board and all that, because if they do anything legally, they have to be appointed, yeah. or else it could be. You refuse to sign it. Do you read my mind? Yes, I can see it in your face. Anything else? Do we have to do talking again, public participation again? That's not on here, but. No, I don't think so. We will stay in the game. Well, just, missed it. But if I could just say something, I, I kind of held off Laura because I knew you were going to say something about Mrs. Wyman, and uh, so I waited. But I'm just going to say, like, I, I really met Nancy for the first time during the town's 250th birthday celebration. And uh, you know, I went to every event, and I was hurrying, 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 and, and I'd be at one event, and uh, I'd go from point A to point B, and somehow Nancy would be there before me. Um, and she was at every event, and she graced every event, and she was just one of the most lovely, lovely people. Uh, and she always tried to help me, giving me pointers with fundraising and um, and the like, and and. Uh, I'm personally going to miss her very much with the ladies' circle, which was one 
uh, that, that Laura didn't mention, and they raise every year money for uh, two scholarships for our students. And I mean, that woman was just everywhere. And uh, everywhere I would show up, there would be Nancy somehow before me. Yeah. So uh, I asked her one day, I said, how do you do that? Like, how do you beat me here? And she said, we. And she said, your girl, though. So I, uh, I, every day I strive to be as, uh, as, as lovely of a person, which I will never be because I'm very much more rough around the edges. But I try to help people as much as she did. And, and she was a great example for anybody um, in this community that's uh, in that position. So I just want to say that I'll miss her very much, too. And, um, and I'm, I'd like to add my condolences to her family. Okay. You want? Well, we just give a chance for public. I mean, uh, for uh, oh. so <laughs> like issues. issues or no? I, I've been getting emails for the field use, so yeah, I'm totally. talking to them. So thank you. But um, they're doing some stuff down there, and <laughs> it looks like there's going to be three fall ball leagues down there. So but that I get playing right lot. now. Do we do we get insurance from all of these? Groups? I, got it I know the, you. Yes, I know you. There'll be insurance for the fall ball as well. Yeah, it's a, one well actually the same group. That's there now. I think is also going to use the field for fall ball. Okay, I'm not sure, sure how often, but but yeah. Just yeah, to make sure that we get their insurance. Yep. -er. Anything else, Jeff? Well, yeah, Karina and I met with uh, the uh, snowmobile, snowmobile club. club. So, but um, so we're going to meet with them in about two weeks or so. We're going to try to stake out an area where we can go. We're going to try to get Matt Leggett involved as well with the ATV club. At least get warm on the parking lot. So, love that and good. You ready? Yeah. I make a motion we go into executive session for personnel matters pursuant to 1 MRSA 4056A. That was quick. I'll second it. All in favor? <sighs> okay. Look at that. That was quick, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a different uh, chair sitting here tonight. She moved it right along. And I'll take her up to her and get sworn. Come on, I'll let him hand. How many do you want? How many do you want to get it? I don't know if I got it back. Oh, I got like 400 bucks. She just, I saw it in the back. Hold on, I'm looking. Yep, that's it. Chuck probably threw it in the trash. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Jeffrey. Oops. We need to show. Oh, Jess. Get something out of James. Something out of the back seat.